because it, hey, 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 this is Charmaine. I'm just waiting for some people to come in. This is a live. I'm waiting for people to come on before I start. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my goodness. Y'all is coming. Y'all are coming in here. I'm sorry, y'all. But I did promise y'all I was going to be on tonight. So it is kind of late. But I had to come because I told y'all yesterday. If y'all watched my video yesterday, I was promised y'all was coming on. Because I got to get these patches out the way. Any hue. Anyway. So I said, let me go ahead. Y'all might not last the whole time. But y'all can always come back and watch it if y'all don't last the whole time tonight. So thank y'all for coming. I got 20 people online. Hey, Dimps. Hey, um, Greater Calvary Baptist Church. Hey, is it Sharma? Sharma? Sharman? Hey, Tanya. If you're new to my channel, um, hey, Marla. Um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and put thumbs up. Um, I'm join this um, chat and like this chat and subscribe to this channel and tell me your name and say you're a newbie and I'll shout you out. And for all my People that always be rocking with me, thank y'all for joining me tonight. It's a late night. I've been busy all day today, but I got to get these patches out the way. So I'm here. I'm going to be doing, I was going to do three three patches today on this live, but I'm going to just cut it down to two patches because I have five to do, but I was like, let me go ahead. I was trying to get the other machine to cooperate when my, the size ain't right. So I got to go on my computer and fix the size. So I'm going to just do a patch on my six needle. And I'm going to do a patch on my one needle. So this this will be good for whoever has the six needle machine or a one needle machine. So you can see how it's done. So I'm going to start from the beginning. Like I said, I don't know how long y'all going to be rocking with me. Because I think that patch, one of my patches, it says, I think it's like 60 minutes. So that's a whole hour. And then this patch, I'm not sure how long this patch is going to be. So rock with me until y'all can figure, until y'all fall asleep on me if you want. But I'm going to be up. So... First of all, my machine, I have a six needle machine. It's called the um it's Brothers PR670E. Okay. And I have a one needle machine, which is a Brothers also. It's a Novus 1600. I just got it out the shop today, so it's all fixed and hopefully it's it's good. Cause my, before my needle kept on breaking. So now they cleaned it and everything. My first time getting it cleaned, I done had this machine for like about four years. First time getting it clean, first time getting it serviced. So we're gonna see if this thing gonna work right, okay? So, um, let's see who's on here. Hey, everybody. Who's a noob? Anybody new today? Haven't had a late live in a long time. It's late. Yes. It's my first time having a late live. And my time is 730. So, it's not that late here. But there, y'all probably about 930. So, to me, it's, it's kind of, it's not too bad. But, um, let me see. So, first of all, what I use for my patches, I use duck fabric. Duck fabric is very thick. It is very sturdy for patches, okay? I got, I get a lot. I get this from Joanne Fabric, so they cut it by the yard. So, I have duck fabric here. And I also use cut away stabilizer. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Knock the stuff over. I use cut away stabilizer. So, I got this in a row. Get, get all my um things from below. Let me save this video. Hold on one second. Let me save it, save it, save it. Sorry, y'all. So I get my duck fabric from Amazon. My link is below. My duck fabric from um Joanne Fabric, okay? So let me make some room around here so I can show y'all what I'm doing here. And my shirt, uh, this shirt I made, I made this shirt, this hoodie, I mean. And this is DTF. I love my shirt, Batty. Business, what did it say? I can't see upside. Business minded baddie. Business mind baddie. I think that's what it say. Business. 
my, what they say? I came to you back upside down. <laughs> oh, small business, Betty. <laughs> I can't read upside down. Small business, Betty. I got it in the front and the back. So I love my little hoodie. I, mean, I love making hoodies. I make embroidery hoodies and I make um uh DTF hoodies. Okay, so for my big patch, my the big patch is gonna be I think a six by nine, six by eight. They want a big pack, so this is the order I'm making. I'm shipping it out tomorrow. So I'm going to be using my 8 by 9 hoop, and the patch is going to be a 6 by 8 hoop, okay? 6 by 8 patch. First time doing a patch on my um on YouTube, and the first time doing a patch on my 6 needle, okay? Well, it's the first time doing a patch on my 6 needle on YouTube. I've done patches on my 1 needle, so if you ever want to go back and look at the patches that I've done on my 1 needle, check it out on my page. This right here is for the 1 needle machine. For the patch and it's gonna be a four by four so it's a small one okay so what i do to cut my fabric i use like templates so my hoop is a four by four so i just cut my um template for a four by four hoop this is my template for my four by hoop this is some, um, some felt and then i have an eight by ten um i don't have a um template for my the big hoops i just have my template for my little um my little um uh one needle machines but these are for my one needle machines these hoops are six by nines and five by sevens and four by fours okay so i'm going to cut the fabric it says very thick it's called duck fabric i love this this is what all i use for my um for my patches if y'all don't know about my patches check out my videos i have a whole lot of different size patches and different kind of patches that I've made in the past. It's my bigger seller. It's my biggest seller on Etsy is my patches. I'm just cutting it out. It's basically cutting. Okay. The material the size I need. And this one I'm just going to cut. I'm going to cut the material around this hoop. I'm going to use this part right here. I'm going to cut it around this part right here. Okay. You can't see because my phone is not showing you. But I'm just cutting out the fabric. It's easy. You know how to cut out fabric. I'm just gonna cut around the um hoop. Okay, so make sure it can it stay on there. You gotta make the fabric a little bit bigger than the um hoop so it, it'll um stabilize it. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all in a minute how this gonna look. It ain't, it ain't gotta be no pretty cut because you gotta cut this fat. You gotta cut this. Uh, I'm talking fast, y'all. You gotta cut the uh patch out anyway, so the fabric gonna have to be pretty. It's gonna have to be cut pretty. Okay. I'm gonna put this out the way. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut my stabilizer. It'll be the same size as my. See, I told you I didn't cut it. It's not cut pretty. And I usually iron this before I cut, but I don't have time. I don't want the video to be too long. So I just basically match up my stabilizer with the um fabric. So now you see stabilizer fabric. The same thing for the little small piece I have right here. Stabilizer fabric. Okay. So, uh, no, it's the same. For my small needle hoop, I basically, I'm going to show you to see this. I'm going to put y'all in a little thing here so you can see me better. Okay, so on my small hoop right here, I basically just stabilize my. It's gonna be too small, probably. <laughs> God, since I'm on the video. I always mess up. I'm on the video. When I do my um hoops, I cut my stabilizer with the hoop. Okay, to make sure it's big, it's big bigger, so it can be able to fit. Okay, so let's. When I rush, I mess up. No big deal. No big deal. So see how big it is? It's bigger than the hoop is. See how big how much bigger it is? Because you want to make sure it's stabilized inside the hoop. Okay. So the same thing for the other one too. And now let's push it in. Push the uh, other the top of the hoop inside the hoop and it fits perfectly. So now those two pieces are in there together. It's like a puzzle. It pushes in there. So you see that? It's two pieces. It's the top part of the hoop and then the bottom part of the hoop. And you push it in. And then you twist this right here to make it tight. Okay, if I'm going too fast, I have videos that show you how to do this much slower, but I just don't want the video to be too long and I'm tired and I need to be up. I'm going to be up for a long time. So with this, I just basically lay the fabric on top. 
I don't want to stay, but I just lay it on top. And it's fine with your um one needle machine, okay? I'm gonna set that to the side until we get ready for that. Now, with my big hoop, uh, mighty hoop, put this on the bottom right here. Put the fabric down. I mean, put the stabilizer down. The fabric on top. I got the big old fold right there. I hope that the fold shouldn't matter. But I should have armed it. See right there? Make sure it's fitting on, on also. Make sure it's on the outside of the hoop so it was snagged. It is fitting there. Okay. See, that's kind of short. That'll work. Okay. Like right there. And then mighty hoops are very strong, so be careful you want to smack your finger. Make sure you have it the right way. That's the belly. Okay, so there. It's in there. So make sure that white part is coming around it so you won't, it won't come out while you're threading. So make sure you got white around it. Make sure the stabilizer is coming out of the hoop. So what I do is just pull it a little bit, tug it a little bit so it can be tight. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Now it's tight, it's ready to go into the machine. So I think I'm gonna start, let's start this machine off first, okay? Let's go to the six needle. Y'all have any questions before I start? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see, hi everyone, I got 68 people. Oh, y'all up out tonight, y'all out tonight, huh? Thank y'all for joining me, this is a late live, but I'm here, cause I got these packages to do. <clears throat> let's see, who on here? Hey, Precious. Hey, Tanya. Time for me to go to work. We'll watch live tomorrow. Okay, good night. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let's see. First time watching you live. Hey, Chantel. Hey, Anita. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on. Let's get it started. Okay, here's my six needle machine. If y'all don't know how what it is, let me show y'all real quick. My nose running. Okay, so I basically push the button. And this is just the um, patch I'm going to be doing. It's called Savage. But this is going to be an applique um, patch, okay? Um, this patch is huge. That's why I chose this machine. It's six by, um, it's supposed to be six by seven or six by eight. So I just made it a little bit bigger. Um, and basically, these letters, I usually do it on my one needle machine. But every time <laughs> I got to do this letter on my woman machine, I have to change the thread. And it's so time consuming. I might not just do that. Um, I'm gonna push the buttons. So I got my nails done, y'all, because my nails were looking horrible yesterday. So it's like this is gold and black. Gold and black. So I gotta switch it two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve times when I'm doing a one needle machine. So I said, I told myself, Charmaine, next time you do this patch, do it on your big needle machine, on your six needle machine. So you have to worry about changing the thread. It's gonna keep on going. Okay, so let's try it out for the first time today. Okay. So it's everything is already set, and I, put, I ordered my machine today because I should have ordered yesterday. I ordered today. Everything is set. I'm gonna go ahead and push. Um, I need to figure. I need to make sure I trace my um thing this time because yesterday I didn't trace it, and I forgot. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and end. Okay, there you go. Right here. Here's the tracing right here. So I'm gonna trace it in a minute. So now I'm gonna go ahead and trace it. So let me go ahead and flip it back over so I can put it on this stand so I can use both of my hands to put it on. The machine. Okay. Y'all can see that, right? I'm about to slide this in. Make sure it's in the right way. Make sure it's in there. I gotta take it back out anyway because I have to do the in, I have to do the um the application. So y'all can be watching seeing me do an applique to, today, okay? So you can see how easy it is to applique a design. Now you see her hair. On here it has her hair being black, but on, on my, my applique, I'm going to be doing her hair. It's going to be basically uh, stillers, okay? She wants stillers. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure. See how that red button? The red. Make sure that red don't hit your frame. If it don't hit your frame, you're good. That red, it's a red dot in there. You might see the red dot, but I'm letting you know it's a red dot in there. <laughs> so I'm basically just making sure that it's not going to hit my frame and it's going to be good. That patch is gonna be this is the biggest patch I ever made, I think, so far. Okay. So now I can start the embroidery. No, I can't. I gotta pick the pick the colors, okay? I'm talking about my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and push embroidery. I still gotta change, fix the this the colors. 
So let's say let's change the um thread if needed. So yes, I do. So my number one, her hair is black. So my number one is not black. It's my number three is black. So see how I got it? I got everything labeled. So number this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is my color. So on here I'm gonna change my black is three. So I'm gonna go ahead and push push this and push. Let's see. Push three. Hold on, that's not right. I'm gonna push okay. Change the color. Okay, go, go right here. You told you I don't use the machine that much. I push that button and it tell me change my color. So now the first one is black, but number one is not black. My number three is black. So I gotta push three. So now it's three. Okay, so now it's gonna when this came from when it's gonna ready for black, it's gonna be three. Then gold is going to be five. So I push make that set number three. I put a five right there. White is number two. Okay, so I put a two right here. So we can know to go right there. And then my brown is number six. So I'm putting a six right here. Okay, and then my red is number one. So put a one right here. And what is this? White again? White is number two. Change that to two. And then my ooh, my black is going to be three. And it's gonna be back and forth, back and forth. Black gold, black gold, black, black gold. Oh, ain't that bad. Then my gold is five, and then my black is three. So make sure I got everything right, because I'm gonna make sure my colors are right. But then my other, let me see. Oh, it is more. Is it more? It seemed like it was in my, my, my when I did my one, up, my one needle, it'd be way more back and forth. So maybe they are gonna do all the black first on this machine, and then do all the gold. But on the one needle, it's not like that. Oh, it's to leave right here. I'm gonna do all black, gonna do all the gold and it's gonna do the black so this is cool see how that's crazy how it's different on a machine on different machines so this was in i mean this was digitized okay but on this machine it's showing me it's gonna do all the gold first and then go back and do the black outline so that's cool but on my one needle it goes gold black i gotta switch it from gold to black gold to black gold to black gold to black that's how i on my one machine so girl i should have been doing it on this machine oh my god i got 170 people watching today Thank y'all for watching. It's late and y'all out here. Okay, so let me make sure. That's right. So, um, so it's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be so much better. But I'm just so used to using my one eater machine. That's why I always use my one eater machines. But now I know. So now it's gonna do all the black. Oh, this is not right. Because it's supposed to, um, this is not right, y'all. It's not supposed to um do the... I got the wrong... That's why it's doing this. I got the wrong image. Because on my other image, it basically outlines the hair. And I put the image inside of there. And then I and I, then I uh, put the, the, the uh, fabric in there. And then it does that. So you see right here, this is not the applique, this is not the applique file. So it's not going to work. That's why it's doing it. That's why it's doing it. Oh, my gosh. I thought I was ready, but I'm not. So right here is gonna do the whole hair, and I don't want that. I want to be able to put the applique in her in her in her hair. So I'm not gonna be able to do that one today. I mean, I probably can. I could just go ahead and figure it out why this other machine is working. I just gotta get the file and put it on my computer and and, and show y'all how to do that through um in brilliance. Thought I was ready. Okay, so I'm gonna just show y'all this one. I'm gonna go ahead and do my number one patch, which is the uh, um. Kobe Bryant patch. I, I sell a lot of these on my on my on my um Etsy page. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him started, okay? So I got everything situated. I slide this on in. He is not applique, he just straight all thread. So there we go. And I can just I already got the um the color, the purple is right there. This takes 67 minutes to do this patch. It's purple first, and here's another color. It's 23 minutes for this. Then it goes to gold, white, and then black, and it goes more. After you get down to the bottom, it goes more. It's more colors. It's more thread. I got to switch it. So every time this when it's 23 minutes is up, I got to switch the color to gold for 20 minutes, and I switch the cold color to white for 11, 11 minutes, okay? So hopefully it's not, too, it's not going to be too loud. I push the foot down right here, and I push go. It's about to go all by itself while I'm sitting here talking to y'all, answering y'all questions. And I'm gonna also try to get this other patch back to you know figure it out trying to get back into my uh 
Like I said, we've seen you got the shop today. It's working. <laughs> there it is. You can't really see this purple this black. So this is a four by four size. So I'll show y'all some more about that in a minute, okay? So I'm trying to find the fabric. And here's the fabric I use for my, um, I'm going to be using today for, here's the fabric I'm going to be using for the, for the patch. And I really have to iron this so it won't be wrinkled. So I will be ironing that. But I have to get the right patch up first. So I can show you how I do that through in Brilliance. Look at my Brilliance. I haven't been working that good lately. I can't believe I did that. But yeah, this is a pretty patch though. This will be a nice patch, but the, the person that bought this patch from me, she wants to want, like I said, she wants that fabric in her hair. So it'll be Stiller's fabric in her hair and not, her hair will be black and it'll be the fabric. It's a, it's a be an applique and it'll be her fabric in her hair, okay? So yeah, that's the wrong image. Let me go on my computer and find this image so I can get this patch together. Any questions? Okay, I'm gonna show y'all how to go in brilliance. Even though my brilliance is not really my my um frame and my brilliance is not working. I think I got downloaded brilliance again. Oh, I see y'all deleting messages. People on here acting a fool, huh? Thanks um to my moderators for helping me out because I know they on here just after dark. They be mess they be acting up out here. So let me um Okay, I'm gonna go to Embrace. Show y'all how to do this. Can y'all hear me good? I'm not, I'm not going to Embrace first. I have to go to my patches. I have a lot of patches. Uh, my son's school. Okay, first I go to my embroidery patches, and I know that one's called Savage. All these files are on my computer. I gotta clean this computer out because there's so many files. Um, that is called Savage. So let me see if I can find it. Lady Savage Patch. Is it another one? See, that's the reason why. Um, uh, let me see. This is my embroidery. This is my embroidery. See, this is not the right one. I do not know where she at. This is the one I printed out. And I thought that was the right one, but I'm pretty sure it has. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's not the one. I don't know what I did with her. Let me see if I can find it real quick, y'all. Not. I won't be able to show y'all. Cause I can't find her. Let's see if I named her some something else. Um, Lady Afro, Lady. All these patches. I mean, all this is all embroidery, y'all. Oh, here it is. Oh, I found it. I just named her ladies. I got the her the Savage Patch. Here it is. Thank you, Jesus. I was about to say, what in the world did I do? Okay. So this is how it was to look, y'all. Thought I had the right one. I thought I had everything together last night, but um, I didn't. So, oh my God, for sure. What the heck? Supposed to look like this. Let me show you. It's, it shows you right here. See how the outline is right here? And then the, the uh, 
the, the uh, fabric goes inside her hair and her inside her afro. See how it's white right there? That's what I'm trying to find. <laughs> and I'm seeing this. Let me see. What's the PS? Uh, applique patch. There it is. There it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's how it's supposed to look. So that, like I said, that's where the fabric gonna go. So let's see what size this is. This is nine by nine, a little bit smaller. And in brilliancy, it's supposed to be your um, frame supposed to fit it, but my frame is not working. I must, I think I gotta um, download this over again. So right now, this is eight by seven. So um, a little bit smaller. This is what size is this now? Seven by seven. I'm supposed to be six by nine. This would be cool right here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, print this out. Save it on my, my um, flash drive. Which one was it? Save it on my flash drive and I'm going to put it in my computer. How was y'all Monday? Just saved it on my on my flash drive, so I'm gonna put it in my six meter. Let's see if I got I got eight people watching now. I got 14 likes. Can you go ahead and like this video so we can get it started so you can see these patches I'm about to make? Can you go ahead and hit that like button? Okay, so now thank you. Sorry, I gotta get this big. My son done broke my dang on tripod. Every time I every time I let him do something, he always breaking something. And now the legs ain't on there, right? I just bought this dog on a tripod. So it's not standing up for me. Okay. So let me show I can use my hand for this right now so until I get the thing rolling okay so i put the flash drive in this is the old one i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because it's not the one i want i'm gonna go to home so i'm gonna cancel that okay so i'm gonna go to home i'm gonna go to my flash drive oh lord I'm busy 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 so here it is right here with no hair okay that's the one i need so hope this size is right it says the pattern is too large for that ah, it's gonna make me mad Let's see if I can turn it if it'll work. Why would it work that way? So I'm going to make it smaller. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Set. Size. Sorry. I'll bring it in some. Cause he, she only wanted 6 by 8. So that'd be cool right there, okay? So now let me see if I can flip it back how it was. Now that it's smaller. Okay, rotate. There we go. So that's cool. So that's a seven by seven. This is size right here. So that'd be cool. You can see this is a little bit bigger than what she wanted, which is okay. Now push okay. I'm gonna go ahead and um in embroidery. I'm gonna go ahead and trace my um use this tracing button right here to trace it. Make sure it's gonna fit on my. Make sure that red is not touching my frame. Don't touch it. You good. And what they need to do is hit the um, frame. Like I said, if you, if you just came in to start watching, we are going to be doing an applique patch on my six little machine, okay? And like I said, we're going to put Savage, this is a Savage patch, we're going to put uh, what's the Stiller's fabric inside of there, okay? Let's go ahead and push embroidery. All the, the colors the same still, that's right. Nope, I still got to fix the colors, okay? Okay. Fix the colors, push the button. So the number five is gold. But I'm using, that's supposed to be black. I want that to be black. I want it to be gold. Y'all want it to be gold. So the, uh, that's going to be five. One is, black is three. I'm going to do this over again. I just did it a few, a few minutes ago, so I'm going to rush through it because I already did before. 
Y'all already saw me do it, so I'm gonna go ahead and rush through it now. I'm just matching the colors with the colors I have up here, okay? So four, that's gonna be brown is six. Three, red is one. Five is two. White is two. Okay, so I'll go down some more. See now, see now how this one is different from the other one? See, I was going from black to gold, black to gold. That's how it does on my regular machine. So I knew that patch was the wrong patch, okay? So I got the right one on here now. Three. And now I don't have to worry about going back and forth with the colors. It's five. Three. Five. Three, five, three, five. A lot of colors. This machine is going to be 53 minutes for this patch. Like I said, I know y'all might not stay on here for, me for that long, which is fine. Y'all can watch me. You can rest, rest, watch it tomorrow if y'all get a chance. But I'm going to be here for a minute. No, number black is three. Gold is five. Black is three. Back and forth, back and forth. Just imagine doing this on a one needle machine, all these, black, all these colors. I've been doing this for like this for like three years now. Let's see, that's five. I'm just basically matching the colors on my machine. Black is three, white is two, red is one, five, gold is five, black is three. So it should be three, five, three, five, three, five, three, five. So then that's the next one is three. Okay, that's it. So I got all my colors together. So I should be ready to go ahead and go rumble. So right here, I tell you, it's gonna be the outline. Instead of having my hair there, it's just gonna be the outline. Then the next one is gonna be the outline. And I'm gonna put the hair there. I think I want this, to, what's, what's the, what is this? Let me go back to color and see what this is. This is the other outline. I want it to be gold. So I'm gonna do that gold because I want her, um. Usually I do the black, um. Do I do black or gold? Let me see, I don't know, I do a gold, I do a black. Okay, so it's okay. Okay, there it is. So it's gonna tell me the first thing I gotta do. So I'm gonna push the button. I push lock and go. Let's go over here and check this out. We can look at this in a minute, but let's check. Um, and I'm gonna put on. I should put. I'm gonna put on reverse stop. Go to stop. And I gotta put that fabric on here, okay? I'm gonna put on reverse stop. That, that that means when this is done, it's gonna stop. Let's put the fabric on here. See, now it's stop. I'm not going to ding because it should stop. See, so it's telling me it's done. So I got to go ahead and put that fabric on there. So I'm going to put y'all down here so I can show y'all how to put the fabric on there. And I'm so mad I need to, I need to iron this fabric, y'all. I do not like to have rich fabric. So let me get my... Uh, put this heat press on real quick so I can iron this fabric, okay? I have a quick and easy press that I'm going to put on just to get this fabric so it can be straight so it won't gap up while I'm sewing it. While it's heating up, I'm going to show y'all my, um, what's going on over here, okay? I'm going to get this heat press heat up so I can get this fabric together. I'm going to iron it so it can be straight. Up. I'm gonna show y'all what's going on over here with Kobe Bryant. I got a lot going on, y'all. I told y'all, look at that. So, this is the bottom, this is the base of his face, <laughs> the base of his face. Okay, that's how it's going to look afterwards. The color is going up for 23 minutes. So I'm going down to the gold for 20 minutes. Any questions now? Y'all yeah, know I have a, it's a brother and Elvis. Brothers and Elvis. NQ 1600 E, okay? One of the machine is the four by four hoop, four by four um, patch I'm doing. I'm using duck fabric and cutaway fabric. I mean, cutaway stabilizer, okay? Y'all see that? Okay, so I have my, my um, heat press heating up. This is the fabric I'm going to be using. 
I just took this off the um, machines right here. That's kind of big. Let me see if I got some more smaller piece of fabric. Like, um, for this, just one second. Yep, that's the right fabric. This is what I be using. So let me go ahead and cut this fabric. The heat press is smelling like heat. Let's see. So I'm just gonna cut it just a little. So I'm gonna inside my little space here. Let me see. Let me see that. I'm just basically getting the fabric and sizing it up with my um with my with my image. Okay. So about that much. Is this gonna be bigger than the image? Cause I'd like to be able to place this, these words in there the way I want it, the picture, I like to place it in there a certain kind of way. So I'm gonna just cut it bigger than what it is, okay? Ooh. So let me go ahead and iron it real quick. So you can see how it's wrinkled. I'm gonna flatten it out. So it won't be all but bunchy up, bunchy. Are you um embroidering? So I'm just gonna run this over under the heat press. Get it all flat. So you want your fabric to be now this is just cotton fabric stillers make sure it's flat it's like or you can use the iron but i don't have an iron in my room so i just use my little heat press okay there it is done that's it and i use this i also i forgot to tell y'all i also use heat bomb for my patches the only thing you need for a patch um is your um your embroidery machine your thread your duct fabric your stabilizer and your heating bond and an um, iron or a heat press to heat your, your heating bond to the back of the patch. So you can be able to the um, heat bond basically sticks the um, fabric. I mean, heat. Uh oh. Sorry. Hold on. Basically, the. Um, I'm having a hard time here. Look at my son. Broke my dang old thing. Look at my nerves. Um, the heating press. Use heat press to heat the heat bond to the back of the patch when you're done, so that that um, heat bond can melt onto the fabric you're gonna iron it on. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question in a minute. Let me just get this going. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to make this this fabric look really good. I know the afro, how, how the afro gonna look, so I want to make sure this fabric is in there so I can see a lot of the stiller words. Okay. I want to see the stiller in the patch. So, and make sure you have it covered so it'll stitch it, okay? So I, I'm trying to get as many stillers as I can get here as far as the, um, the image, okay? And like I said, if you have questions, give me a second. I will answer y'all questions in a minute as soon as I get this machine started. I'm trying to make sure it's in here. So you are showing me I should be have a couple. This will be right here. Okay, I'm gonna have two work, two of the stiller works gonna be in here. So that should be cool. I'm sorry y'all. Six me a minute because I'm gonna make sure I got it in here. Okay, that should be good. Okay, I'm gonna just lay, lay it on here just like this. I'm putting it on the machine and it's gonna stitch around. That, okay, here we go. These dog legs is getting my way for my table to step this in here. That's why I'm going to bump it. Okay, let's see. Can y'all see that? Okay. I'm going to slide this in here. And I got to slide it back out when I got to cut the fabric, okay? But right now, I'm sliding it in here. So my fabric won't move. Okay, it's in there.
And now we're gonna do the second, it's gonna do the um top stitch, which is going to stitch the fabric to the fabric, <laughs> to the duck fabric. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lock and go. I get a stronger table because my machine is shaking, 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 shaking. But see how it's going to, I like the way it double stitches. It's not going to be just one straight stitch. It's going to be a double stitch. So it's going to be giving it that fabric, giving 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 that well, this is the bottom part is almost done. So any questions, let's see what y'all have here. Ooh, it's a lot. We have those tips on the other one. Yes. So do you have any tips on, um, on, on young entrepreneurs? Yes, give me a second. Shout, shout me out, please. Who are you? Um, Glass Beauty, hey. Uh, let's see. A lot of people getting blocked. What's going on? Uh, let's see. Any questions? Any questions? Oh, thank you. She said she used my free shipping. What happened? Check your upper bottom thread. Of course, there's always going to be something happening when, on the, when I'm on the live. Let me cut this real quick. I'm sorry, I don't get my face. <laughs> it says check the bobbin thread, so it got it's, it's stuck. So let me go ahead and push cancel and cut. Let's see what happened. That black is still in there, right? Still in there. Let's try it again. I'm gonna put on stop for so stop. Please unlock the key. Okay, lock, go. Now put on reverse stop because I need to make sure it stops after they do this because I need to cut the fabric, okay? And I'm going to go to the next. Why do people always doing this? Lord, Lord, Lord. Let's see, cut. to my black thread it's there why is it acting up i can't see it's in that black thread right there <laughs> the black thread is there what is the problem g oh man 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 oh my goodness let me see um i'm gonna go back Try it again. Cause I, the black thread, I see my telling me to check my thread. I know my bobbin thread ain't messed up yet. Let me just check the bobbin thread. Because I just changed the bobbin thread. But let me just check it. It's there. It's not. Hold on. Maybe that's why. Let me see. Hold on. I got 68 people watching. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, the bobbin thread was stuck, y'all. Okay, let's take this out and do it over. My nails, I'm gonna have to cut my nails all the way off. I'll be trying to get be cute, have my nails done, but oh, look at that. So it was messy. I wonder, like, why is it doing that? The bottom thread was cut, it was stuck. So it wasn't the top, it was the bob, it was bobbing. But sometimes it, when it gets stuck, it just say bobbing in top thread. Like, which one is it? And usually, I usually don't have no problem with the bobbing, bobbing unless it's empty. And I knew I just put new bobbing in there, so it shouldn't have been empty. So. Just got caught up a little bit. So when you get those ears, just check the bobbin and your um your thread. So I just put it inside here. Do it that way. Put it through the hook. I ain't got my glasses on, y'all. You know I can't see. There, okay, there it is. So I put it. It's done. Put it in here. Okay, back to business, baby. Okay, so 
So now I'll go ahead and push lock.
There's so many packages you can do. And I get all my um images from Etsy. Or you can digitize them yourself. This one right here, I digitize my. I gotta digitize. But this this one's not like this. She was full of hair. So this one I gotta digitize so I can put fabric in here. I have people that have like um I can put all kind of fabric in here, her hair. The savage, I can put fillers, I can put cowboys, I can put your favorite sport in there. I've done so much with that pack. Um I also can put Sorry, I'm looking for something. This fabric right here. Put this in that um in that pack. So I see the body got my Etsy page. Her whole head it'll, be, it'll just say Black Lives Matter in her hair. And then you get that pack and you iron it on your back of your old jean jacket or your on your different coats you have, whatever. Varsity jackets, you can do whatever. So I have I do that. I do I did that too for that patch. Okay. So check out my Etsy page. It's um Charming Gal Boutique. Okay, it says it's done. So now I gotta take it out. I'm gonna put you over here. So I'm gonna take it out the machine and cut it around it, okay? So it's SC Charming Gal Boutique. I can make your patch for you. Or we could do a one-on-one. -on -one. I can show you how to make patches on a one-on-one. -on -one. You can do it yourself. So now we are here and we're about to cut this out because we have to cut the fabric out so we can be able to finish the patch, okay? Okay, I use these scissors. You got some good, so they call it curved scissors. They curve, and it's better to cut like this. Do not take your image out the out the um hoop because it mess up. So what I'm doing is I'm just going around the stitch, and I'll show you after I'm done so you can see how it looks. Don't cut too close because you can cut your stitch. So just cut around. I know my arm is in the way. I'm sorry, but I'm right-handed, so I have to do it this way. I'm just cutting, y'all. Y'all know how to cut. Just cut around the stitch. I'm going to show y'all after I get done how it's going to look. This is applique. And yesterday, I had the I did a video yesterday, and I showed y'all a lot of different things that I made with applique. So you can just look at the different material you can use with applique. You can use um, felt to make it feel soft, like for kids' clothes. I've done like the, I did like a rabbit, and I can do like the skin of the face of the rabbit. It's like a felt color, a felt just so many different materials. So check out my video from yesterday. You can see some of the patches I've done with applique. Applique is amazing. You can put, um, you can also put like glitter, uh, vinyl in your patches and make like little bowls. Like the one, the video I did yesterday, I showed you a little, um, I think I had a little girl and she had like a glitter bowl in her hair. That was, that was all applique. So check out my video from yesterday. It's a live from last night. I'm going to show you different samples of um, different things you can do for applique, how it looks. And different materials you can use for applique also. Cotton, felt, uh, what's that, that um, what's them, them thick blankets you can use, the thick blankets you have, what's the name of that, them thick blankets you, it's real soft and cushiony and you can use that um, uh, fabric for um, applique. For little kids, that'd be so cute. And people sometimes use towels for applique because you can use towel and it's like a um, Chanel type of feeling. When you use a different kind of towels, it'll give you that Chanel feeling. So a lot of people do varsity letters for applique and they put the Chanel in it. I know yeah, somebody told me what it was. Uh, do you digitize? No, I don't digitize. I um, I go to fever or fiber, however with fever or fiber. Oh, shoot. Did I cut the freaking fabric? Um, you can go through um, fever or fiber. It's called fever, fiber, how you want to call it. I have a digitizer on there. I don't want to tell you her name because everybody's different. So just go onto fiber, look up in who embroider and who digitized patches, and then you can find who you like. Check out their samples, check out their their um their their work and pick out who you want to pick out. It's so easy to find somebody good on fiber, fiber, fever, whatever you want to call it. Um, they can digitize for you, okay? Look at this. This is how it looks now. So what I did was I cut around the fabric as close as I could without getting to the... I could do a little bit right here, but I don't have to because after I get finished with this, I can cut more closer, closely to the uh, image. But I'm worried about this down here because this is where my other... My rest of my patch is going to be down here. I got to put the savage letters down here, right? So I want to make sure it's close down here so it won't be gappy. And some of this is going to be covered. Like her face is going to be on here too. And her earring, but I know for sure this is gonna show and this is gonna show. This one gonna show. This one right here won't show because her face is gonna be right here. But it's gonna be cute. Okay. So let me go ahead and turn it back around. 
put it back on the shelf. I mean, put it back on the machine. So now I don't have to stop the machine from um from going. I can go ahead and push that button so it won't ever have to stop again. I don't have to stop it no more. I had to stop it this time because I wanted to make sure I put that took that fabric out and cut it. Okay. But now the machine can go and it won't have to stop again. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that that reverse stop is not on. Right here, I'm gonna go push that button. So now the machine gonna keep on going until it's done. Hopefully the needle won't break and I don't have to worry about stopping no more until it's done, okay? So now I'm gonna do some earrings, which is gold. Why do it have black on there? It's supposed to be gold. See right here, it says gold. It says um, black earrings and I don't want the, the, the earring to be black. It's supposed to be gold. So let me go ahead and change this color to gold. I don't know why I did that. Or maybe that's the next. Maybe, ne never mind, that's fine. It's telling me red right here is going to this color. So it's good. So I'm going to go ahead and push lock. So now it should be going to the gold. Make sure my thing is in there right. Make sure it's in there so it won't mess up nothing. It's in there tight. So now it's going to do the gold. Doing. Let's see what Kobe doing. Let me ask y'all questions now while we let the machines go. That's Kobe. Who else came on today? Who else came on today? Who else came on today? Any more people watching? Welcome, welcome. Hey, um, Barbara. Um, I already answered her question. I said I did not digitize. She said, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It is so much fun to do passes. It's so much fun. I love it. Somebody said this is dope. Yes, I love it. Any other questions? If I miss your question, go ahead and repeat it again because I don't want to go far, far back to the um, comments. Just go ahead and repeat it if you want to um, ask me something. I'm looking at the comments right now. Here's my other machine, too. I have another machine I was going to do some packages with. I have the um, embroidery PE800, which is cheaper than this one. So if you're looking for something smaller, you can try this one. It's PE800 Brothers. Um, they're very expensive now. When I first bought this, it was $500 before COVID. Now they're like $1,000. Because everybody's been doing it. When COVID hit, everybody started opening their own businesses and doing different things. So now it's expensive. This one is like $1,200. I think about $1,200, $1,500. I can't remember. Okay. That one over here is a couple thousand. So, big boy. So it's just doing what it's doing now. Make sure you like what you do. I love crafting. I love designing things for different people. Know your niche. Get your niche together. Know what you want to do. Know, um, get your, your mock-ups together. It depends on what you want to do. If you want to do, have an Etsy store. If you want to do vendor tables. It's a business. So, if you want to sell lip gloss. If you want to, you know, whatever you want to do. Make sure you have your, um, your, your plan in writing. Your budget written down. Your LLCs. Your, um, whatever you need. Your business. I mean, you don't have to have a business license. You have to get your LLC, your name for your business. Make sure they're taken care of in your county or your state or whatever. Um, so just work hard and get the things you got to do. I never got any loans or grants or anything for my business. I spent money out of my pocket. I own my own daycare at first. I own my own daycare and I moved down here in Arizona, so I closed my daycare. But I already had a good income coming in. And when COVID hit, I just bought all my machines because I was like, I'm bored. My daycare closed because COVID closed everything down so I'm bored. I was in the house. I've never been home without working. I worked all my life. So when COVID hit, I was like, I'm about to go invest in these machines and start working while my daycare closed. I was really supposed to like six weeks. But at six weeks, I bought, I started learning how to sew. I started learning how to inverter. I started doing cricket. I started doing DTF. All that stuff been, I've been working, doing that since COVID. So it's fun and you'd like to do it. Um, I got a clothing line out called um, Top Notch Status. 
we're getting it together. I do hoodies, coats, hats, all that stuff. So I just love designing things for, for people. I do all kind of things. Check out my Etsy page. I do um, sublimation. A lot of sublimation as far as doing like um, passport covers, shirts, hoodies, whatever. Cups, mugs, tumblers. I do it all. So you don't have to do everything like I do. I do a lot because I do a lot of videos. I try to, whatever I learn, I bring it to a video so I can show y'all how to do it. So you don't have to do everything I do, but just pick a niche, pick something you want to do. I'm just answering that question. Somebody said that, what is it, how is it, how is it being an entrepreneur? So I'm just trying to let her know the things you got to do to start up. Have your startup bit, does it, make sure you don't go over your budget like I did. I just love buying this stuff. I had so much stuff before I moved here to the small apartment, to the small house. In this small room, I had a basement full of stuff. I left a lot of stuff in Ohio. It's a lot of money wasted, but things happen. You didn't hear me, Barbara? Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me? She said she didn't hear me. Hey, Miss Parker. Can y'all hear me good? I need to change the colors. Go back to the brown. It's moving. I love this. Oh my gosh, I, I cannot believe all this time I've been doing this one little machine. And I I just didn't think about just I just like I said sometimes this big machine intimidate me, so I just don't turn it on. But now I'm like yes, honey. I'm gonna start doing my, my, my packing on the machine. So you can, I do um, my packs on my machine, on my winning machines, I'm used to those winning machines. And I usually do my big machine, I just do my um, hoodies and my shirts and stuff. But now I'm like, this thing, let me put this thing to work. I also got a flood eater machine too. I got to um, get that shit down here in Southern Ohio, so I'm going to get that shit down here in a um, couple months. I'm going to start doing hats and stuff. But I've done hats on my winning machine too. If you didn't know that, you can do hats on a winning machine. Like I said, check out my video yesterday. And I showed you a lot of different things you can do on the wedding machine. the machine. All those things I showed y'all yesterday, I did on my wedding machine. So if you just want to invest in something small, something little for now, you can check out the stuff I've done on the wedding machine. You can do hoodies on wedding machines, but it's going to be hard to do like 2X, 3X, and extra large. So there's not enough space to get all that bulkiness of the hoodie in your machine. But you can do it. You can do it. The image is going to be smaller. Like a 5x7 is the biggest or 6x9. So if you're looking to do hoodies and stuff, my best bet is to get this machine right here. But if you're just doing like kids clothes, one of the machine will be good. If you're doing patches, one of the one of the one of the machine will be good. If you're doing like the back of jackets and stuff like that, one of the machines because the jacket is open. You can just slide that jacket right under the hoop, under the um, needle, and do that. But just worry, just think about the size you want. So if you're going to do a, a, um, a, a jacket, a jean jacket on a one of the machines, you have to probably do a small jacket or a medium jacket. The bigger the, uh, the jacket is, the more bigger you want your, 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 your image to be. So just be on the lookout for that. Because you can't go that big, the boots can't be not that big on a one of the machines. On my Novus machine, this is the biggest boot kit. Yeah. Okay, it's a, it's a six by 10. It's as big as it goes, okay? This is a, this is a nice size, though. I'm a medium, so it's going to be good if you want to do a jacket or something like that. It's good. But it only goes this way. You can't turn the jacket this way to make it long like this. It's got to go this way. So it's got to go this way for a hoodie. But you can do a patch this way. But for clothing, you have to have it this way because of how the machine is made. So you only have the option going this way, the image going this way, okay? If it's on a hoodie or a coat, okay? You can do bags. You can do a lot of different things for one of the machines. I did a whole purse. I did a whole um. If y'all don't believe me, I got a video. No, I don't think I did a video, but it's a video you on YouTube. You put in how to do a pouch or a fanny pack in a one of the machines. Girl, I did a patch. I mean, I'm sorry. I did a um a whole fanny pack in my one of the machines. Can you imagine a whole fanny pack? I'm talking about a real fanny pack with the pockets, the zipper, all that. Yes, I did a whole fanny pack in my one of the machines. And I, I did have the sample, but I think I, I don't know where it's at now. I can't show y'all how it looks. But yeah, you could do a whole fanny pack with the belt, loops, and all the things to put around your waist. All that in a one of the machines. 
So if you don't believe me, I don't have a video doing that because it was just too many steps for me to do it on video. And I was like, I ain't doing all that. It's a video on YouTube that says how to you put in how to do a fanny pack with one of your machines. Embroidery. It's on there. But I looked at it and I made my um pack. I made my fanny pack over that video. words in her hair instead of just having that one word up there still it up there that big old that big old space right there it's a big old space right there i don't like that <sighs> yeah i'm gonna probably end up doing that one over this is the fabric is the way the fabric is made it's hard to get that Hope y'all almost done with his gold. That's what that gold is going to white, black, and then white. He'll be done. And all I gotta do is his hair takes a long time because I gotta do his hair. That's black. And all that other stuff is gonna be black. Oh, it's, it's gonna be done. This is um 43 out of 67 minutes. Okay, so we almost done. black right here it's, it's nothing I mean, even though it's supposed to be her hair i wish i would have brought this filler word down some we look at that then i do it i don't have to ship them out until the seventh of the month so the seventh of this month so i'm probably gonna do that patch over because i really don't think that's gonna be cool and i want my customer to be happy so let me go ahead and change this thread on this, because like I said, it's the one needle. So, only thing is, for one needle, you gotta change the thread every time it stops. You gotta change the thread. So, now it's telling me I gotta use white, white, you have a minute. I'm taking the gold off, taking the gold out, you put white on there. I'm just doing my empty, um, Order, so if I can sit down, so y'all want me to make y'all happy, go ahead and look at my empty page, try to get out the teeth, and you see it. And now you get that, so I'm going to put the foot down, the button right here, and the green button, so let's go and get that white together. I got this at the shop. I done had this for like ever since COVID. My first time I came to the shop to get started. So before I got to the shop, before I got to the shop, it was breaking the needle. And I was born really good. Okay, we almost done with this. Let's get to the letters now, y'all. Came down to the nitty gritty. Came down to the letters. Okay, finish the letters. You're done with this one. So we had 22 minutes to 53. We have 10 colors, 10 um, different changes. Let's get the thread. 
got 10 more colors to do. We have 31 minutes. We rest it out here and we'll be done. way so it can be right on that image. I just gotta cut it out and make sure I can get this in the center of her afro. This is how the fabric looks. Okay? Any questions? I made this shirt for DTF so I do I'm gonna do DTF. Right now I'm on the CNA button. But I gotta do it together. I'm going to let y'all comment. Any questions, go ahead and ask me. Any questions y'all want to ask me about cricket, about embroidery, about UPM, go ahead and ask me anything you want to. I can try to answer it for you. Thank you, Cynthia. I like it. Thank you, Jim. This is going to be a nice You think the patch is nice, um, Jim? Let's see what you say. I can't see you. Hey, Jim, sorry for the... I know the cray crays are up tonight, huh? <laughs> I didn't hear nothing. I'm glad I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I don't want to. I'm glad y'all getting it again. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Fab, for the for the moderate. Oh my God. Thank y'all. Having my back because I can't see what's going on. I don't want to see it. I know it's bad. I just it's, 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 after a certain time, he gets to be on here acting the fool. But I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late coming on, but I'm so glad y'all are still rocking with me. I got 73 people watching. Can I give me a thumbs up, please? I got 38 thumbs up. Can you give me some more thumbs up, please? And go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Yes, thanks, Tim. Thanks for the little I appreciate y'all. Hey, Sister Taylor. No, in the hoop, I tell you, what you mean, um, Marissa, you're talking about Marissa. Um, oh, <laughs> thank you for all her time and moderating that first guitar. See, I'm, I'm not going to do videos this late no more. I'm so sorry. I appreciate you. Four by four hoop, 
This is uh, Duck Fabric from Joanne Fabrics. This is um, Cutaway Stabilizer. Everything is below my link. So you can link to go to the link below to order whatever you want. My name is Amazon. Okay? The fabric is from Joanne Fabrics.
They put them on their jackets. They put them on their jean jackets, on their varsity jackets, on their um, book bags. They, you can put, uh, what I was going to do, once, oh, hats. You can put the packs on your hats also. Minutes and he's gonna be almost done. These are gonna try past my phone be gonna fall over. So now I'm gonna do the black thread. Here's the white is done. Now I gotta put the black in there. Like I said, y'all wanna go back? I got so many different videos. I got videos though, y'all, of me showing y'all how to do my son's small hoodie in the one needle machine. I got videos showing y'all how to do I did a jean jacket for myself.
about to keep it. I'm going to do another one. Fifty three minutes of work. Okay? That's a lot of work. But like I said, I don't have to put my chicken in the bed. I'm going to be kidding. I really don't. I love it. Okay, any questions about anything? Embroidery, GTL, cricket, confirmation, sewing. Go ahead and ask me the question and I'll wait for you to get done. Any questions, y'all? Um, what am I going to do next? I got some more. Tonight I'm here for a while. I'm going to be doing some, um, more. I got like three more packages to do tonight. work in the morning. If you just get this video, yes, yeah, go ahead and you can watch it back after I'm going to go back and watch over how I started up with the, um, how I hooked the um, machine, how I hooked the hook, um, everything. Uh, I showed up step by step how to do everything from step one. So we brought her from 6 feet of machine and a morning machine. So I got it done yesterday. Okay, this machine still haven't been serviced yet. But I'm gonna think I'm gonna take it back to get service. I'm gonna take it to get service probably next month. But it's been working. I've been doing a lot of stuff on these machines. This machine right here, you oil it every time you use it. Okay? You oil it every time you use it. And it tells you where to oil how to oil it. When you, when you turn on the machine, it tells you how to how where to oil it at. How to oil it. And here's the oil right here, it fell on the floor, but it's right here. And you oil this machine every time you use it. Okay. 
Thank you, Arlene. You guys look great. We are almost done. We got electric timber beans on this machine. Oh, sorry. We got timber beans on this machine and we'll be done. Then we got like, let me see. I don't know about 10 more minutes on that machine too. But we'll be done. We will be done. Two more letters to go. I'm not gonna stay on long enough to um, put the um, heat bond on, but I can explain to you how to do it. That's gonna be like cutting it out when it's gonna be too much. So um, basically, cut out the I'm gonna show y'all how to do it on my own. Let me show y'all something real quick. I already got a pack already done, so I'm going to show y'all how I cut it out. So y'all got to be on this video this long. So, after the pack is done, you basically, it looks like this. You it looks like this. It's a 4 by 4 brown stain pack. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I turn it on the back with this stabilizer. So I turn it on so you can see it better because it's white, this is black, can't see black on black for real. So I turn it on the back because the it's white and I cut around as so close as you can. Don't cut too close because you will cut the stick, okay? After I cut it out, there's the heat bond. This part right here is what goes onto the pack, right? So you basically lay the pack. Well, let me cut it out. So I got this silver, I'm gonna cut it out. I'm not gonna cut it perfect right now because I, I got smaller scissors to use. When you do a pack, I got smaller scissors. Right now, I'm using the big scissors to get it done quick, quickly. Right here, I still got it. You still got it. I still got it. Fresh enough. If it's good enough, it's going around there. You make it look a little bit better than it. Right? And then I get the heat bomb. Just like this. Put the heat bomb out around here. I can just pull it around. Right? Then I get the, um, the heat bomb out of the pack. Right? Then I put the heat bomb out of the pack. Then I put the heat press it. I cover it up with the, um, the paper. Then I heat press it. Right? So I heat press it. I basically. Shift it just like this with the white backing. And then when the white when you get into your house, you just basically tear off the white backing. And the white backing it'll be the adhesive. The blue will be on the back of it. So if you tear off the white part of this pack, the adhesive will be the blue will be on there. So then you can you can basically get your the, um the pack iron on your clothes. That's it. Heat and bond. Pack it. Right? Blue, this is the heat bond is the glue that seals the um, pack to your shirt. You iron it on. You either iron or heat, heat, um, heat press. So if you ever order any of my packets, this is how it looks. You get them, tear off the white part, the paper part, and you iron it, and you stick right in your shirt. The hat, your bag, the coat, whatever. That's how you do it. Any questions on that? Like I said, you can see the order of my website, Charming Gal Boutique on Etsy. Charming Gal Boutique, the link is below. Or I can do one-on-ones with you. I do do one-on-one videos. So inbox me on Facebook and I can do a video. I can, um, not one-on-one videos. One-on-one um, um, trainings on how to do these things one-on-one. You can do it your own. You can do it yourself. I get out of my images. All these images came from Etsy. Okay. If you want to find an image that you like, you can get it digitized off the, um, through FaceFever or Fiverr.com. They digitize it for you. And then you just basically get a, a PS. These files, these computers, these printers, these inverted machines, y'all is tired. Y'all I'm tired. Y'all is I'm tired. Bobbing through this stuff again. Let's see. What's going on with this thing right here? The, the, probably, the bottom thread, the bottom thread probably went out. Let me make sure all my thread is in here. Oh nope, the black is gone. Oh, it's the thread. Is that black? What color is black? 
black is three. Oh my gosh. I got every, oh Lord Jesus. When I say Lord Jesus, I mean it because this thing right here is, it, uh, I got to thread it over because it's all the way, where did it go? It's all the way up here. So I got to thread this machine. Is that black? That's black. Is black. Where'd it go, y'all? I got to find out where it stopped at so I can start it. Oh, thank God. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's the white. So it's got to be down here somewhere that it stopped, which is good. It's not too far away that I have to do it. So I can start right here. Yay! Because I thought I had to go way up top. Start over. So right here, if it stopped right here and it break right here, it's good. It's okay. But when you get way to the top, oh, Lord, that's a lot of, lot of, can't see. I can't see. Okay, so let me go ahead and thread this real quick. So I just basically, I don't got my glasses on. But it's cool. We ain't got that much to go. We ain't got that far to go. I'm glad it didn't break way at the top, y'all. So the uh, base of the machine stopped because my thread broke. I'm gonna go ahead and figure this out real quick. Give me some time because I can't see that good. I got my glasses, but I should be okay. So I just drink. I can't really show y'all today how to thread a machine. There's a lot of videos on YouTube to show you how to thread these machines. It's very time consuming. Not very time consuming because once you get it, you got it. Okay. Oh, let me shoot it up. I gotta use my own tweezers. Cause my fingers is, you gotta use tweezers to get this in here because your fingers is too big to fit in there. Let me see. And my eyes be crossing it after dark. When it get late outside, I can't see. When it get late, oh shoot, that's my, here's my tweezers. Tweezers, I gotta just basically put this thread behind this little Right, y'all, I'm almost done, y'all. We ain't gonna be on here too much longer. Just bear with me. The thread broke. Of course, it's gonna break on the, on the video. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't see. Oh, my gosh. Very quiet. Let me get it in there. I'm about to get take this off. Hold on. There, now I can see much better with the lights. Let there be lights. Oh wow. That's the bobbin thread at the bottom. And now I can see a little bit better now. So let me get this together, y'all, so I can get out of here. I appreciate y'all for staying. And I know it's late. We almost done. So I can see the end, the end results of the Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay! Okay. So I gotta swoop it up here. Y'all, every time, ever since I was little, I always wanted glasses. Now I need them. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't see. I just started wearing glasses like a year ago. And it's detrimental. I need it. Okay, so I got that done. Not too bad, y'all. I just be over exaggerating all the time. That's just me. Not too bad. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and go back ten. I'm gonna go back some because I don't want no gaps. So I just basically push the little. Let me show y'all. I still got y'all. Y'all still watching? I got 63 people watching. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this right here. Go back some. I'm gonna go back ten. So I'm gonna get a gap to so about, about 30. Then I'm gonna go ahead and push okay. Then lock and green. Hope we done. I think I gotta do his eyeballs, which is white, which is like a couple seconds, and he'll be done. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Come on. And then Kobe, I got one more minute on him. He says one more minute, he's done. Oh, y'all came, y'all stayed with me for the whole time. Let me go ahead and thread his right in, his eyeball, the left in the minute, and we'll be done. But tomorrow, when I'm packing back tomorrow, I'm definitely putting them on my one on my business thing. 
first. I got to go in there. Remember I told y'all I was gonna do three. I was gonna do three packets today, but I had to. Um, did it, I had to fix my design. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix it and get it ready for my fix machine. Get on that battery drive, and I'll be able to get it done quicker instead of changing the thread, which I'm so used to. I don't have no problem doing it. Everybody's like, well, since you got a 60 in the machine and a 20 in the machine, are you going to get rid of your one in your machine? No. You got to do more than one project at a time. You get the, you can get the job done when you got more than one machine. So don't get your machines up unless you want to. But I'm not giving up none of my machines. I'm keeping them all. I've got four embroidery machines. Okay. So that's just going to eye, the white part of the eyeballs, and he's done. That's crazy, they almost done at the same time. And this video will be over with. I'm tired, I'm hungry, too. We need something to eat. Yeah, we got the, um, we got the E going down. We get that, that gold here, we get that nice. I'll line up and we're done. Okay, we're done. Let me 
any other questions before this last minute? We got 60 people still watching. Thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight. It's a late night. Thank y'all so much. Anything, y'all. What y'all want to see me do next? I know I asked you every time I get here, nobody comment. What do y'all want to see me do next? I'm on. I try to be on here every. I'm trying to get here Saturday and. I mean Sundays and Mondays. Sundays and Mondays is the time I'm going to be here. You hear that beat? It's done. It's done. Okay, let's get it off the machine. Yeah, but some people tapping. I can go to bed. I can't go to bed. I gotta do some. I don't know if I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning. Just shut this machine off. Here it is, y'all. Here it is. I'm about to take it out the hoop, though. Okay. Let's take her out the hoop. Since y'all still on here rocking with me, y'all must want to see her. I want to see her. Okay, so this is like magnetic for real. You got to basically watch your fingers when you snap them. Oh, you got to use all your muscles. Okay. So, let's see. It's magnetic. 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 Ooh. Okay. Oh, I don't know, y'all. I just thought enough stillers for me. I'm going to cut her out so I can just really see her, okay? I'm going to cut her out so y'all can see her. This is how it looks without her being cut out. This is the front. This is the back. And I look at the back and I cut from the back so I can see from white to white. I'm not going to do a, a, a nice cut. I'm just going to do a fast cut just so I can get a, a glimpse of how she's going to look. And I, I need to tell me if I need to do her over. If y'all was a customer, would y'all be pleased with her? Or should I go ahead and fix it, do it over? And put the uh, fillers a little bit down on her afro. And I gotta pray that it works because it's hard to it's hard to put it together. It's hard to really look at it and see if this is how it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? With the fabric and stuff, it's hard to really see. So it looked kind of crazy because I'm, I really didn't get close to the edge of it. But after I get do get close to the edge, it'll be much cleaner than this. What do y'all think, y'all? Should I do it over and bring this? Try to figure out how to bring this down some so it can be in the middle of her afro, or it's just okay. She want to put on a coat. So just imagine it just being on a um a coat, a back of a hoodie. I mean, back of a jean jacket. Would y'all like that? Is that cool? Because this is hair. So this black is her hair. What do y'all think? And be honest. It's a lot of work. It's so hard getting that fabric. This one thing about applique. It's hard to get that fabric where you want it. on the floor. Just cut a little bit while y'all cut it closer so y'all can see it. She said it looks nice. It looks really cool. Let's see. Looks good. I am a Stiller fan and this is great. Oh, thank you, Barbara. It looks good. Thanks. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Dibs. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to keep it like this. Keep it like this. I'm going to cut it a little bit more if y'all want me to. I can see how it's really gonna look. Be careful when y'all do the stitch. Now, who wants to make patches now that you've seen this video? This is an applique cool. I can't see my glasses now. I'm gonna be blind, y'all. Um, applique, and even not just not applique. Applique is cool, but the rest of the patches are cool too. Just to see how it looks with thread. Thread is, I mean, how the designs come out and it's all thread. That is amazing. There's so much you can do. With um embroidery. I'm just trying to clean it up so y'all can see how it's gonna look. So I'm glad y'all like it. I'm glad y'all stayed up late. And I'm glad y'all was able to look over all the strange people that want to destroy videos at this time of night. So I appreciate you, Dimps and Fabulosis, for getting all those people off the um chat while I work. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are amazing. Okay. 
There it is. I still gotta cut up, you know, do a little bit more with my, my, my glasses on. So I can see. But look at her. I like her. Her little lipstick on, her little afro with her little stillers on. Her little stiller. And like I said, only thing I gotta do now is get the heat press and put the um, heat bottle in the back. Then when the customer get it, they take off the white part, the paper part of the um heat bottle, and they just iron it on their clothes. Whatever they wanna put it on. Ain't she cute? She's she she's feisty. Them lips, look at them real lips. Stillers. And like I said, if I have cowboy, I do the blue and white. I mean, I do blue. Is it blue and gold? What's cowboy? Blue and white. So I had cowboys here. Then I put this. This that would just be blue. Instead of gold, it would be blue. So with the white outline. So it could be whatever team. I make sure it ain't going to be gold. If your team ain't gold, it goes by your team color. Okay. Any questions before we get out of here, y'all? 63 people still on here. I'm about to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go to sleep. I'll do the rest of the patches tomorrow. And I can get them done. I can, I can put three patches, have a patch on each machine, and I'll be done. So what y'all think? What's your Etsy shop? My Etsy shop is a link below this video. It'd be easier if you go to the link below the video because it click you right on there. But it's Charming Gal Boutique. Charming Gal, which is G-A-L, Boutique on Etsy. Yes, Sonya said, I think I would try to embroider now. That looks good. Thank you. And yes, get that machine out and start using it. If you have one, use it. Oh, she said, what, about what time on Sun and Moon on Monday? This um, Sunday and Monday, I try to get on my time. I'm here from Arizona. Right now, it's only 9.30 here in Arizona. So I try to get on between... Now, Sunday, if I go for church on Sunday, I go get a dinner. Go, I don't cook on Sundays. I need to start cooking because I, I just moved here in Arizona. So I'm just trying to find all the restaurants and just eat everywhere. So I think I'm going to the restaurant next Sunday. Yes, I am. It's called some. It's called Sugar Jams. It's so nice. They have food. And they have music. So I think I'll do that next Sunday. So I'll probably be here by between four and five my time. It's Arizona time. Between four and five on Sunday, and then Monday. Probably about between the same time on Monday. Okay? So between 4 or 5 Arizona time. I don't know where I'm at. Valley. Valley time. Eastern. That's not, it's not Eastern. Um, I just moved here. So, um, yes. So any other questions? I will, If not, I will see you on Sunday for sure. Like I said, between 4 or 5. She said she would it's wrong. He said she wouldn't make patches. Well, get you a machine. Sorry, if you want to start with the one needle machine and go, because you don't have to have a big machine. If you just want to do patches, get you a one needle machine. And start off to get that with that machine. If you already have a machine, let me know. Yes, yeah, 11.30 in Maryland. I know y'all. And thanks for rocking with me, Patricia. 11 30 your time. That's how it is in my time. I'm used to Toledo's Ohio time. So I'm like, uh, so I'll be trying to make sure when I get on, I'll be trying to make sure I count. You know, go to you know Ohio time, which it is eleven thirty at night. So I was like, I'm not doing that video tonight. But I said I gotta come on a video because I told them I was coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and go, even though I know it was late. But I'll be trying to um, really focus on, you know, the time I'm used to doing. Two, I know it's y'all two hours behind, two hours ahead of us down here. I'm not used to this time down here. Okay. Uh, somebody was saying I was about to read it, but something must be in bad because you just deleted it. Okay. Well, I gotta go. I gotta go. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for coming so late in the evening and nighttime for me to watch my my um channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Here's the patch we did today. We did this one. And, and that's the call. That's the call FK. We did him. Pop him out. I gotta cut him out. But I was gonna do some work tonight. I'm going to bed. So I will see y'all either on Sunday or Monday. Be blessed. Have a great rest of the week. Bye. Good night. Fabulous. Good night, Dems. Thank y'all so much. Love ya.